So today's lesson is 2.2, classifying functions. That's found on pages 50 to 56 in your text. Our curriculum outcome is to extend understanding of functions, including algebraic functions, which are polynomial, rational, and power functions, transcendental functions, which are exponential, logarithmic, and trigonometric functions, piecewise functions, including absolute value. So our lesson objectives today, number one, to learn how functions can be classified, and number two, to recall what basic functions look like when they're graphed. So in calculus, knowing how functions can be classified can be a huge help, especially later in the unit when we're going to be looking at the domain and range of functions. So the overall heading here is functions, and those can be broken up into two different types. The first type are called transcendental functions. And transcendental functions include trig functions, so those are your sine, cos, tan sort of things, and also their reciprocals. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant, Reciprocal of cosine is secant, and the reciprocal of tan is cotan. So those are all your trig functions. Another type of transcendental function is your logarithmic function. So that would be like log 2x, that's a log function, or log 3x, or log x. And you have exponential functions, and that's when your ex exponent is actually your variable. So something like 2 to the x, or 0 0.5 to the x, something like that would be exponential functions. So those are all transcendental functions. You also have something called algebraic functions, and algebraic functions consist of polynomial functions. So polynomial functions are functions that can be written as polynomials, so something like a constant, like x equals 3, that's a constant function. Uh, you linear functions, so that's when your degree is 1, so y equals like x plus 2. You have quadratic functions, so that's like parabolas, and you have cubic functions, and then on and on and on. I think the next type is called quartic, and and polynomials of, you know, nth degree. We also have power functions, which are part of the algebraic function family. And power functions are things like reciprocals, because remember that a reciprocal can be written with, a, with an exponent of negative 1. That just means you're taking the reciprocal of something. So any function, so say your function happened to be, I don't know, like x squared plus 3x. If that's raised to the power of negative 1, that now becomes 1 over x squared plus 3x. And so that's why that is a reciprocal function. And a root function has an exponent that happens to be a, um, a fraction. So something like x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 is a root function. Or something as simple as x cubed plus 1, uh, the cube root of x cubed plus 1, that's also a root function. And something that can be considered either a polynomial or a power function is a rational function. So a rational function is just made up of one or two uh, polynomials. So the main focus of today is to be able to know what the normal version of these functions look like when they're graphed. And so by using graphing software, if necessary, you need to draw a quick sketch of each of the following functions. And I want you to do this on a separate sheet of paper. Um, the easiest software to work with, I think, is the one at desmos.com calculator. Um, that's also linked to it on my blog. So if you go to the blog site, it'll be at the very top of the page called a graphing calculator. And here are the functions that I want you to graph. And there's a whole list of them. Your polynomial function, so like a constant, a linear, a quadratic, and a cubic function. And for the quadratic and cubic functions, I want you to do positives and negatives. Uh, I need you to graph a rational function, so 1 over x. A root function, so just plain old y equals root x. And then your transcendental functions, sine, cos, tan. If you wanted to, you might as well do the, uh, the reciprocals as well. So cosecant x, secant x, and cotan x. I want you to graph uh, y equals log 2x, and also y equals 2 to the x. And two more, y equals log half x, and y equals a half to the power of x. So lots of functions to graph. If you put them all on one sheet, they'll be easy for you to reference later on. Um, the assignment is on pages 64 to 66. One, four, five, and six would be questions that you should be able to do. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you in class.